my video. This is Jefferson Academy Middle School, and what you're seeing is the JA family working together to reach a really high bar. Jefferson is a school that is definitely on the rise, and we have sixth through eighth grade, and we're preparing our students for high performing high schools. Ooh, this lesson's gonna be easy for you. So much better than even this morning. Good job. Three, two, one. Snap twice if you're ready to move on. And we're gonna go really fast. Okay, you guys are crushing this. Time is so important in our classroom. Common Core standards require me to be efficient because I, need, I don't have a lot of time to teach a large amount of content um, really deeply. And so I have to think really carefully about how I'm going to use my time in the classroom and what I'm gonna teach students. I want you to see if you can put that into your own words. I think that Jefferson's on its way to becoming a great school because we're all working towards the same goal of getting our students ready to meet the bar of the Common Core and then also giving them the habits that they need to be successful and have more agency in their own academic careers. I use the Common Core to raise the bar for the students and then also for myself to make sure that I am pushing them to understand the conceptual background to what they're learning. We are working on how to change a fraction to a percent and we'll learn about if the percent change is a big deal or is not a big deal. We have so much to achieve and we don't have a lot of time. They want to go to great high schools, they want to go to college, and they know that in order to get there they need to really push themselves. So when you get a problem right, you clap twice. If you get the problem wrong or disagree, you stump twice. After if someone disagrees or if the problem wrong, we'll explain to you and explain why is it right and ask you do you get it. If you don't get it, we'll explain again in a more simple way. I think that some of the misconceptions is that the Common Core tells you exactly how to teach things. And in fact, it's just setting a really high bar for what to teach, but the teacher has a lot of autonomy of how to adapt that to their students' needs. Many of the students are behind, and in order to push them ahead, I need to make sure that I'm teaching them exactly what they need and that I'm planning lessons that they will be able to access and build from. And then I have a lot of students who are really ahead and I need to use my time really wisely to make sure I'm simultaneously pushing them to do an even better job. 